Hello everybody, Phenomenal Sir here, back with another episode of The First 15, the series where I play the first 15 minutes of newer underexposed indie games and then share my thoughts and feelings about them. Today, we have up Into the Darkness by Ozan M. Now, Ozan M was the developer who created a previous game that I had played and reviewed, which you may recall by the name of Delivery Victim, which at the time did not get the greatest review that I had ever given. But, um, I saw a little bit of potential there. And I did follow Ozon. And over the course of the last, I don't know, week, two weeks, I have noticed that Ozon has been putting out games at a pretty steady clip. So, when I first discovered Ozon, the only thing they had was Delivery Victim. Now, there is Delivery Victim version 1.1, which is an updated version of the original game I reviewed. They have Delivery Victim 2.0, Just Drive, Into the Darkness, and the five levels. So they're just one after the other, games have been coming out. Um, so I figured Into the Darkness looks like another spoopy game, so I figured I'd give it a look. So, into the darkness, you are living in your apartment, but something is different and going to work. You are working in a hospital as a guard. One of the prisoners escaped from their cell and you are trying to enter the lobby to call security, but he is attacking you and you are trying to enter the lobby without dying. Controls are was to move, E to interact, F to turn on and off your flashlight, space to jump. The game was released five days ago and last updated one day ago. <clears throat> okay. Just checking some stuff out. Checking some stuff out. So, I have 15 minutes on the clock and our journey into the darkness starts. Now. So I don't know if that was meant to be a jump scare, but it did get me. Okay. Oh no, I'm a ghost. A blurry ghost. Oh god. Hmm. Why are my windows painted? Why is there still... Okay. Ah! This does not appear to be a hospital. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Am I supposed to take a shower? I am not supposed to take a shower. Okay. Hmm. I do not have a flashlight yet. Jump scare? Oh. So the controls feel a little floaty. When you walk, your guy is kind of like, well, I've already started, so I might as well not stop yet. Um, not game-breakingly so, but noticeably so. Okay. Just peeking around. Hmm. Well, nothing has jumped out and scared me yet with the lights, so I'm going to assume I should turn them all off. Oh, I thought I was going to have to go to work. 
currently I am at work. Hmm. Can't open this. Jump scare coming. It didn't look like there was something. It didn't look like there was anything behind him. I was clicking all over that door. Was the. Hmm. 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 Was I maybe supposed to like run to the. Hang on. Ready? Oh, those are working. That first one got me. Um, now I'm a little confused though, because I'm wondering was that I'm kind of just sacrificing my body here because I'm trying to figure out how I can make this work. Because there are some screenshots on the page that are not this room, which makes me wonder. Him. Okay. Interesting. I got away. Oh. Uh oh. This was a terrifying nightmare. Um. What's different? Is there anything different? Let's see. That was a bit nerve wracking. I'm not gonna lie. Is he hide now? I'm gonna be expecting him to hide behind every door. Well, I still have I still have a magical glowing sink, so there's that at least. I can only assume. Looking at this, I would assume that there's some sort of texture that was used to make these things. So long, the flashlight that just didn't get loaded into the game. Like there's like a, you know, brushed metal for, or something like some sort of, some sort of sh uh, skin or shader or texture or whatever you want to call it that was supposed to go on these pieces and it's, it's corrupted or it didn't get put into the, into the, um, the folder like it was supposed to. Hmm. Oh. Nine hours later. Oh my god. It's a hell of a commute. Oh shit. Go upstairs and call security from the lobby. Uh oh. Uh oh. These are the screenshots I roll. Oh. Let me just. These are the screenshots I remember. Buddy. Buddy. Do not enter. Hi. Get back in your room. Oh. Oh. Oh, 
That's a problem. Oh, oh. So there's a some some load in issues here. Uh well. Buddy. You need some first aid. How do they get in there? How do they get behind that desk? This is a very interesting computer setup. It's an Apple II monitor with a giant external hard drive that's from the future and a phone and a mouse. <laughs> Oh, this is the worst thing ever. He's gonna pop out of one of those holes. Ha! No. Elevator needs a key. Well, you would keep a key in a storage room, right? Oh no! Oh no! Ozon, why did you do this to me? Oh, Ozon, no. Ozon. Don't escape. I'm just trying to get even. I want to escape. No! Well, I'm boned. Is he gone? Did I win? Oh. Is there an item I need to grab? Oh! No, no, no! Can I just... Door is gonna open. He's gonna be waiting for me. Oh. Oh. What is this bar? Run, 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 run. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Well, he got me. He got me. He got me because that freaking door. <laughs> oh! Oh, he can open doors. Oh, he can open doors. He's gonna pop out at me. I made it. I made it by not following the directions. Let that be a lesson, kids. That was terrible. In a good way. In a good way. In a good way. Great job, Ozon. Mm. Okay. So, 
definitely an improvement over Delivery Victim. Um, which, you know, just wasn't bad. It was just rudimentary. This one, you've expanded your area quite a bit. The area, it was a, it threw me for a little bit of a loop with that part at the beginning with the apartment going straight into that tunnel, but it worked. Um, I got to be completely honest. I did not think that getting them to follow me into the apartment and coming back out was going to work. I honestly thought that the game was just bugged. Um, when I couldn't get out the fire escape. So that's cool because, you know, you're it's almost like I feel like I was rewarded for for trying everything basically. Like the game didn't tell you, "Hey, go do this." It was like, "Oh, he's chasing you. Figure it out." Um so then I had like a real sense of accomplishment when I when I he chased me in and then I came back out and I was like, "Holy shit, it actually worked." Like we in this now. Um, the area was creepy. Honestly, I was expecting something to jump out at me the whole time. Um, all the way up to the very end when I was running for those lobby doors and I kind of peeked to the left, I totally expected him to jump out and grab me right there. And that was just going to be it. Um, so really well done, really well done on that. Um, I think it's funny because I do remember that one of my specific criticisms um, in the past with Delivery Victim was that there was a bit at the end where you look and you see a guy coming after you and the game takes away your control over your character. And I, and I had said at the time, like, oh, well, you feel way less invested in the game when you don't have control over the game. So then you came back with this one, which is... You know, for all intents and purposes, it's just pursuit. That's all it is, is you're just getting chased at different speeds and in different areas and in areas that are not familiar to you. Um, and in at least one case, an area that was specifically misleading because it told me to go left. And because I'm just how I am, I said, well, I'm going right. Um... So that was cool, and I'd actually be curious to know if there were any other little secrets or things if I had gone in a different direction or whatever. Sorry, it's it's late um, for me, but this was good. This was a this was a uh, this was a much improved over over the previous project. I honestly liked it a lot. It was scary. I don't like being chased. Um, the only thing that I would really say, because again, you know, there were some texture issues and some pop-in issues, but that's not the developer's fault, right? That, to a certain degree, that is the fault of the engine and the, the things that you're using, that the, the assets that you're using. So we're not going to hate on the developer for that. But the area matched the story. And they, the, the creature that was coming after you matched the area and it matched the story. Everything meshed really well. It looked spooky. The flashlight was good. I remember that was, a, that was a criticism I think that I had brought up in Delivery Victim was that the flashlight seemed a little weird. That flashlight, I don't know if it necessarily felt realistic but it worked for the game. Now, obviously, you know, flashlights in video games are always going to be a little weird, right? Because they, they have those, you know, normally a flashlight would have a big beam. They'll go all the way across the room and you'd see this much really well. And then everything else would be very gray. And that's, I don't know if it's hard to do in a video game, um, but it's just not something that you see a lot of in a video game um, is a good flashlight. But that, this flashlight worked well for this game. It gave me visibility where I needed it, not out so far that it felt ridiculous. Um, it still felt like it felt like I could see far enough that if the enemy like popped into view, I'd have a little bit of time to try to get away, but not a whole lot. It was a good, it was a good range there. Um, my only issue, I would say, in terms of gameplay, is as you saw, the one time I was running, the door opened and it like wamboed me into the wall, and then I got stuck, and that was how I died. 
And I noticed that for whatever reason, the way the doors are set up, they always open towards your character in this game. Like consistently, every single door opened towards you. Um, I would say if you could make them open the other way and make the enemy a little faster, that would probably get you the same effect um, of like that feeling of fear that he's right behind you without having that aggravation of opening the door and going clunk, clunk, clunk every single time. Um, I figured it out the last time. I figured out you gotta kinda like come at it and hit the door from, a, from an angle. Like you gotta come at the door at a 45 degree angle if you're standing directly in front of it and you open it, you'll hit yourself every time it seems like. But other than that, it was a good little spooky experience. Now, normally I don't like to play the whole game because I wanna leave some for the, the viewers out there to enjoy, but as I said at the start of the video, Ozon has put out a couple of other videos in addition to this, and it may be that they are just getting started. There may be more stuff coming up in the future. So, I would say give Ozon a follow. I already have, obviously. This game, for me, is going to be a good game. I enjoyed it. I don't like being chased. You did a good job of making me feel like I was being chased. <laughs> so, good game for me. Um, there was a little bit of weirdness with it, you know. But for me, overall, good game. I give it four stars. Boom. Thank you, Ozon, for your hard work. This is really good. I enjoyed it. It really is. Um, not sure. Oh, that was the other thing. I don't know what the point of the jump is because the, it didn't seem like jumping would have done anything for me. But that could be because there was something that I just didn't find that you got to jump over or that you got to jump on or something like that. So, But, that, you know, that didn't, that didn't take away anything from the game. Um, good job. Good job. Uh, thank you, everybody out there, as always, for watching. Be sure to check out all of my other First 15 videos, as well as all the other videos that are uploaded here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you get notified whenever new videos pop up. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, generally, will be our First 15 videos. Other stuff pops up when it pops up. Um, additionally, feel free to hop on over to my Twitch account. Give me a follow there. And if you see me streaming something, jump on, say hi. If you have a suggestion for a game you'd like to see me stream, let me know. If you have, if you have a suggestion for an indie game you'd like me to try out, do another First 15 episode for that game. Let me know. I'm always looking for new stuff to try out for new developers to support. But again, thank you, all of you out there for watching. Thank you, Ozon, for this very spooky experience. Keep up the great work. Keep growing as a developer. And until next time, everybody, stay healthy, stay safe out there. Later.